Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Undaunt's Breakfast with Kuta Loops. In the last episode, we uh, helped Jim Boy Calloway exact vengeance on an old rival of his, and then we killed Jim Boy Calloway. Um, and then what did we do? I believe we also tried to help Dutch rob a trolley station or something. Because um, D'Angelo Vickers, the most well-liked character from the hit uh, TV show The Office, um, bamboozled us and basically gave us false info. And, um, well, he tried to set us up and all that su such. What is this? A bounty poster for Javier Escuela. Interesting. <laughs> nice. In any case, um... Yeah, so uh, D'Angelo Vickers set us up and uh, turned out to be a rat bastard. In any case, we are back in camp, and it seems Lenny here has maybe a stagecoach mission. Lenny? What are you doing? Nothing. I don't believe you. It's just a little robbery, all right? Nothing serious. Good. What are you robbing? A stage. There's a stage coming through. According to the fella I met, it'll have a bunch of money aboard and no security whatsoever as it comes up the river trail between here and Catfish Jackson. Okay. That yeah, sounds worth investigating. You and, uh, who? I don't know. I, I thought I'd do it on my own. It'll be unprotected. Won't be a huge take, but I should make out okay. There ain't no such thing as unprotected. Now... Who you want to go with? I guess you. Now? I don't need no hand-holding offer. Oh, come on, kid. <laughs> but if we decide to do it once we've had a look, I'm taking half the money. All right. Let's get going, then. It should be on its way right now. Ah, <laughs> uh, poor Lenny. The look on his face. He got roped into uh, yeah, helping like or having Arthur help out. Shooting our way in here to rob those fools. Those were the days, yeah, Lenny. No. <laughs> those were the days. This place behind, if I'm honest, got a bad feel to it. Oh, well, it's not He's that bad. Roof. Yeah, You've see. Got a roof. Of course, I'm outside with the juniors. Oh, you ain't even twenty years old. Your time will come. Wait, Lenny's not even twenty years old. What the fuck? Come on. He looks boy. much older. Or maybe Follow it's just me. whoa, what's going on there? I saw a good spot uh there. Rodney, what so what were you doing with the rings? I told you about this. It's a sound lead. I told you. Then what did he have to gain by giving you this information? You mean did I give him money or a gun? You're just gonna have to trust me on this one, Arthur. Okay, okay, I do. You've more than proved yourself the past six months. Don't forget, I was on the run for murder before falling in with you boys. For three years. It ain't like I'm new to any of this. Uh, those fellas who killed your pa? Yep. And I'd do it again right now. Of course. Huh. Okay. Well, I didn't know that uh, Lenny's dad was murdered. But um, I guess that gives a bit more context and background to the letter that we read in the camp from uh, Lenny's dad. Hmm. And he does seem a lot more, I guess, mature for his age. Maybe it's just because he's been through so much, perhaps? But, uh, he, uh, he definitely does not look like he's not even 20 years old. Unless, of course, Arthur's just making a joke or something. Wait, is it here? Is the stagecoach going to go through an old Civil War territory or something? That doesn't seem right. Or maybe it's not. Okay, I see. Just another off-the-beaten-track kind of thing. Is that a raccoon or a badger? I think I probably need a, a few more raccoons and badgers. So we should probably take note of um, where we see these animals and such. Of course, we come across 50 million wildlife and uh, things to hunt whilst on a mission. And um, when we're off searching for rabbits and... Uh, rac sorry, bandits. Uh, sorry, bandits? <laughs> raccoons and um, badgers whilst not on a mission and actively looking for them. We come across none of them. Okay, here we are. Okay, that wasn't actually all that far from the uh, camp. Great, Lenny. Um. Let's leave the horses off the road to the right here. Yeah, yeah, sure. But before I do, Rodney, 
Gotta make sure that I get off with the right equipment. Let's go for the uh, bolt action rifle and we'll go for the pump action shotgun, I guess. Yeah, yeah, except uh, keep your bolt action rifle on you, Arthur. Yeah, sure thing. Good. Okay, uh, let me put on my the little bandana too, the by the way. Sorry, um, Lenny, don't mean to uh, interrupt you, bud. Okay, Lenny, don't forget to put on your um, your little bandana thing. You don't want to have these guys identify you and all that shit. Even though they seem to be able to somehow see through your bandana and identify you immediately. So, um, gotta say, it's a little, little bizarre. And uh, I don't see no uh, escorts neither. <laughs> this should be a cakewalk. Are you sure about that? You see any? As soon as they're close enough, we'll jump out, hit them fast. Just wait for my lead, okay? You think so? Is that person wearing a dress? Oh no, it's just like... Wait for my lead. This is a robber. Drop your weapons and put your hands in the air. I said drop the weapon. Okay, okay. Just take it easy. All right, boy. Anyone else? Anyone inside there? Answer me! Last chance. Come out, or we're coming in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Lenny, this don't look good. Lenny, I'm just calling it right now. This shit don't look good. Uh-oh, now we're immediately wanted, of course. Why not, right? Why the fuck not? Ah, come on. Aim better. There we go. Got a couple more dudes I can mark. And one last hit. There you go. Fantastic. And... Hell yeah. Damn it, Lenny. This is supposed to be an easy job. What happened? I killed all of them, Lenny. They're all dead. Unless there's one asshole still left. There better not be an asshole still left. Oh, Lenny, what's going on? Oh shit, over there. Sir, I'm gonna ask you to stop. Also, there's a gaping hole in the back of your head. Or your... Yeah, your uh, back there. Your back of your back? So is that the front? You shot off my fucking bear hat. You laugh? Yeah. Are you? Evidently. That was not the way I was expecting things to go. You took us into a trap. Look, I'm telling you, it was good information. Wait. Look. Look, there's some money here. Not much. Yeah, it ain't much, because it was a trap. Stage companies do this all the time. They set up traps oh. to catch fools. Shit. Like you and me. I feel like a fool. Well, that's good, because you are a fool. You're still alive, so don't worry too much about it. Come on, get out of here before any more turn up. All right. See you back at camp. Get out of here and let me do my looting. Uh, but first, where the fuck is my bear hat? Oh, there it is. Thank goodness it's still there. Okay, great. Ah, oh, good grief. This belongs in a museum. Uh, can you move on before I... You're not gonna be a problem, are you, sir? Okay, he's just minding his own business. He's like, you know what? I seen too much. Let's just fucking uh, get out of here before I got shot. <laughs> Fantastic. And what was that about the stagecoach thing? I think it said something about the stagecoach mission not being available anymore. Ah, uh, damn it. Have I done goofed? Because, um... Because I did this before the stagecoach mission that we got from, uh... What was his name? Aloysius? Algonquin? Albuquerque? Fuck, I forget the name of the guy that, um... Alden! Is that right? That sounds right. Alden? Or am I still completely wrong here? Alright. There's one more dude left to, uh... To loot, and then we'll bugger off, Rodney. Don't you worry. Don't worry, I don't plan on staying here for too long now. Great. And I also have a letter waiting for me? Is that right? Yeah. Okay, let's see here. Uh, let's head on over to the post office where apparently a letter is waiting for me. And, uh, if there's- whoa. If there's no news or anything, um, I guess we might as well go see... <sighs> Dutch, yet again. Who will, of course, ramble on about Tahiti and Australia. And, um, go ape shit about uh, various crap- wait, what was that? Is that a dead Whoa. body? Whoa. What's, uh... Whoa! Holy shit! 
This must be the continuation of the serial killer thing. Fascinating. Behold, it says. Behold. Okay, um... Where do we find the loot? Oh, am I supposed to maybe bring this guy down? Okay. Let's try to cut his binds. Come on. There you go. Damn. This guy got done over. Holy shit. Uh, can I loot him or... What am I supposed to do here? Hello? Just as behold, well, aren't we supposed to get, like, part of a map or something? Nothing? Dang, son. What am I missing? Oh, the tracks of the stranger, that's it. That's what we need to do. Of course. Where does he go? Over this side. Got it. Aha! There we go. Found it. Fantastic. Ugh, oh, I'm making a... Point with you, huh? For a second there, oh, guys, look, it's the new uh, GTX 2080. Fantastic. Of course, the treasure would be a very, very valuable um, graphics card. Fantastic. Can. He's in Canada. He's the Penticton pig, um, pig farmer guy. Place together map. Oh, could it be? Did we actually find the, um, entirety of the map? Whoa, okay. Uh... It is the map, yes? Oh yes, piece together map. Where the flying fuck is this? Okay, it's across a bridge. Into what appears to be a cabin of some kind. Um... And... In some cellar is a safe, I guess? Interesting. Interesting. And if we flip, lo flip it over... Can you find me? Okay, he's not saying that he's from Canada. Alright, well that's unfortunate. Alright, well then, um... I guess we need to find a bridge with some kind of, uh... I guess shack across the way. Um... Let me just take a quick gander... What? I have a $12 bounty now? Dang, nabbit. Okay, so where would we find a shack that's just across a bridge? Hmm. Nothing really comes to mind. Then again, there's a lot of, like, uh, water places around here. I don't know if it would be in this region, or I would assume that it's somewhere around in New Hanover. Not, uh, where we currently are. Maybe painted this place? OJ Key? Hmm. Alright, well, maybe we'll come across it in our travels. In any case, Rodney, let us away. Because we need to go to the uh, post office and uh, pick up a letter that is apparently waiting for us. Not exactly sure um, whom it would be from. Maybe it's from uh, Mary Linton yet again asking me for help. Because, uh, she likes to string me along. Damn it, Mary Linton. Don't even let me put my arms around you. Whoa! Oh shit, sorry Rodney. Hey, you yeah, you see me, do you? Oh, really? You think so, eh? Here, here's what I'm thinking about. Me turning on my heels. Dick nuts. Alright. Three. Come on, four, and... Oh shit, I got... I got shot, Rodney! I got shot! I'm hit! I'm hit! Oh, I'm hit again, Rodney! I'm hit again! Damn it! Alright, bitch be dead, and... Last bitch to go. That is some terrible hiding, man. Just... Absolutely terrible hiding. Okay. Alright, Rodney, I'm hurt. But that's fine. I'm a, uh, I'm a big boy, and I think I can, um, you know, weather this. Let me just smoke some cigarettes. I don't condone the use of uh, cigarettes, but uh, I'm gonna smoke some cigarettes to um, refill my dead eye meter and also deplete my stamina somewhat. But hopefully not by too much. There we go. 
Although I've noticed that the Deadeye meter doesn't actually fill up that well despite having a full core. So I don't know if it's just extra slow or something or what. But yeah. What is this? Is this cocaine gum? No, it's nothing. Unbelievable. Okay, what else do we have? Premium cigarettes. We'll take that. Thank you very much. Hopefully there'll be a card in there. And I think that's a, uh, a lockbox underneath the, uh, the thing. Great. Let's see if we can actually... There we go. Fantastic. And of course, I don't feel bad at all about the murderation and slaughtering of the uh, fucking Lemoyne Raiders. Because they are absolute garbage. Cocaine gum? No, we're just going to smoke more cigarettes. And then I'll eat some shit to uh, refill my... Um, whatchamacallit? Stamina bar. Or stamina... Uh, core, rather. That's right, Lemoyne Raiders. Though, I'm assuming these guys aren't gonna have the premium quality loot that we got from the lawman earlier, after the botched stagecoach robbery. Because I noticed with the lawman, I got like a crap ton of, uh, whatchamacallit, of platinum, um, stuff. Like platinum pocket watches, and a platinum butt plug, and a platinum dildo. Um, all inside of one dude, if you can believe that. I don't know how he managed to fit a butt plug and also a dildo. Um, I'm assuming maybe his, uh, his penis opened up to receive the dildo inside of his, um, well, dangus. Which is, of course, how the, uh, the male, male genitalia works. If you're, if you're not aware, that's how it works. And we have a potent mil mi uh, miracle tonic. Okay, well, um, if we have a potent miracle tonic, I say let's just use the potent miracle tonic and, uh, take that. Thank you very much. And I will now take the potent miracle tonic, if you don't mind. And we also have an open miracle tonic. Well, I think the potent miracle tonic basically took care of that. Is there anything else I should take from you ass bags? Um, there appears to be some sort of crate up here. Like a box, maybe? It is a crate. Wow. I thought it was just a box, but no. You have hay. You have a cube of hay in your crate. What the hell? That's got to be the weirdest uh, loot crate um, ever. Yeah. Holy crap. So my cores still need a bit of um, boosting up. Mm, I guess I could try smoking a bit more. Sure, why not? I mean, our stamina core is already uh, gone to the shitter. So we might as well just smoke up and uh, refill our dead eye core before we refill our, our um, stamina core. All right, we are back in Rhodes. Whoa. Okay, looks like Arthur's been smoking up a little too much, and now his body's starting to reject his uh, his idiocy. Fair enough. Canned kidney beans. Hell yeah. That is of course also my favorite food of choice when I'm uh, riding around in the Wild West and uh, killing fools. Canned kidney beans. Just stuff it right down your gullet. And hope that you don't explode from uh, too much gas in your uh, intestines. You're okay, boy. Okay, boy. Alright. Oh, looks like we have another uh, stagecoach thing. Or maybe it's new, or it's the uh, same stagecoach thing that we um, kind of lost out on. Because we did the other stagecoach thing with uh, Lenny. Confound it. The Picture of Modern Civilization. Fantastic. Hey, hey nice. Oh Alright, Alden, um, I'm here to pay my bounty as well as get a, a letter and also get Hold some uh, information about that. That thing. Alden, that's your name. Okay, let's receive the mail first. Come here. I've just the thing for you. Oh. But you'll have to act a bit faster than last time. Letter from Charles Chatney. Interesting. Okay. Uh, let me also pay my bounty before someone, uh, comes in here to claim the 12 buckaroni bounty. Alright, let me, um, get that stagecoach robbery tip. Watch yourself with this one. Should be two, maybe three coaches, and they'll be well guarded. Huh. Alright, don't you worry about me. Okay, so it does sound like it's the same thing. Great. Let's see. Yep, that's the same one with the, uh, multiple X's. The, the world's uh, most raunchy porno. And uh, what else we got? A uh, letter from Charles Chatney. 
Mon cher ami, I made it. I have the sun on my face, sand between my toes, and a beautiful vahine in my bed? What is a vahine? Is that a type of deer? Um, or is that his way of saying vagina? Uh, the islands are everything I thought they would be, and more. You would not believe the light and the colors and the people here. So much brighter and more alive than anything or anyone in saint -Denis. It feels like a world away, which of course it is. You may be surprised, but you are my only true friend from those dark, dreary days. You did not ask for anything, you only gave. How perfect, how rare. I detest selfish asses more than civilization itself, but what is civilization really but organized selfishness? Huh, it's a very good point. I must constrain my most primal and vital desires so you may be comfortable. Ha! no merci. This island paradise is what the civilized world would call primitive, but the people here are the most generous in ways I may not put into words I have met. Why is this? Because they are free. I have never painted like I paint now. It is work like the likes of which has never been seen. Before I sent this, I shipped some canvases to New York to be sold. Perhaps if you own that little scribble, it may be worth something now. Either that or laugh at my ineptitude. Always yours, Charles Chatney. Fantastic. Well, I'm, good to, uh, I'm glad to hear that he's doing uh, well now. Or better than before. In any case, we have a stagecoach that uh, is waiting for our uh, robberiness. So let's go ahead and uh, get that. And is it me or does the screen look like it has lines going through it? I'm not really sure what's going on there, guys. Sorry, it's a little, hey there, little odd. It may be my capture card acting up a little bit. I feel like, I feel like I'm, it's, it's like seeing stars, except instead of seeing stars, I'm seeing stripes. Well, I'll, I'll try to figure things out or something. Not really sure what's going on, so, uh, I do apologize for that. Well, in any case, um, I think this might actually be the same location as the previous time I got this, uh, stagecoach robbery thing. So, maybe all is not lost, and, um... It remains the exact same. Uh, I do wonder though, what would be the best way to do this. Now, he did say that it's um, gonna be a dangerous yeah. one, right? Oh, there we go. a bridge. Well, I mean, we could. And there's the bridge above as well. Um, Here's what I'm thinking. I don't know if this will work, but here's what I'm thinking. Let's put down some dynamite. Wait, what type of uh, dynamite do I have? Just regular. Got it. Okay, um, and let's put one over here as well. Though, I gotta say, the brown dynamite on the uh, brown muddy road, a little difficult to, um, to spot. So I'm hoping that this won't be too problematic. Uh, Rodney, let's just make sure that we have our best and brightest weapons available. Thank you. Can I automatically- oh, I can automatically aim on the, um, the dynamite. Fantastic. So maybe I'll just keep this, uh, lit. Though, I think- Oh, they're coming! They're coming! Okay, good. Hmm... I guess maybe we'll go f aim for that- um, dynamite that one first. Maybe. Oh shit, that's a lot of fucking stagecoaches. Crap. Okay, well, hopefully. Oh, wait, oops, almost forgot. Bandana, please. Okay. Alright, here we go, guys. Nothing suspicious going on here, good sirs. Nothing suspicious at all. Boom. Fantastic. Holy crap, holy. My god. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cause that much commotion, but there you have it. A whole bunch of people dead, all thanks to yours truly. And, uh, people just ganking me. Left, right, and center. Not appreciated, guys. Not appreciated, I will say. Wow. Did I just shoot a horse? Tell me I did not just shoot a horse. I mean, I couldn't really see shit, but, you know. Loot cash from the back of the coaches. Well, I mean, one of the coaches is on fire, so I guess we gotta do this quick. Oh my goodness. Can we actually do this? Uh, take the money pile, Arthur. Take it. Take it while it's not- okay, it's on- it's not on fire anymore. 
100 buccaronis. Fantastic. And what else we got? This one, I think we can just use the lock breaker on, right? Fantastic. Is that it? Two coaches? Okay. I'll accept that. Whoa, Arthur, what are you doing? Arthur, what are you doing? No, 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 stop, stop, Arthur, stop. Okay, that was really bizarre, Arthur. Don't do that again. Fantastic. 200 buccaronis. Nice. Very nice. And, uh, I'm assuming that we didn't lose any of the money in the fire. So that's pretty cool. I guess that's a way of, uh, doing stagecoach robberies then. Just plant dynamite and, uh, what it all watch it all just go up in flames and shit. Great. Though, we should probably bugger off soon. Because I'm pretty sure the law is going to be uh, on their way very, very shortly. Though, I can't help it. It's just too much good loot, I say, as I pick up like 17 cents from that last guy. Can I skin the dead horses? I mean, they've already been like charred and burned. We might as well take advantage of the horse meat, no? I don't know what horse meat tastes like. I'm assuming it just kind of tastes like beef. But maybe a little bit more muscular. Oh shit. Uh-oh. Somehow my crime's been reported. I don't know how. Um, I don't know who managed to report that. But uh, Rodney, we gotta book it the fuck out of here. Okay. Oh, good grief. Rodney, that was close. That was real close. It was the deer. The deer sold us out. Rat motherfucker. I knew it. I knew it. That's why I've always had such a hard on for deer and uh, their eradication, of course. Okay, well, um, I'd say that was a resounding success. Uh, I, uh, and I think maybe we should camp down for the night. Though I don't know if the fact that I'm currently wanted is going to change anything. Alright. Oh, I see. Okay, well, that makes sense that I can't actually camp down for the night whilst um, being pursued by the law. There enough. Are there any boars that I can hunt that are three-star boars and not just the regular uh, one and two-star crap? Doesn't seem like it right now. Okay, there's some wild boars to be had here, but they don't all look very fantastic. Oh, no, there is a three-star boar somewhere. Ah, I see. You know what? Fuck it, though. I'm not in any rush to get boar, so... How about we just camp down for the night and, um... Make our way back towards Dutch, I guess? Unless maybe we can somehow find the, um... The, uh, the serial killer guy. Which I doubt. Because we need to find a bridge and what appears to be a shack across the bridge. Gotta say, nothing comes to mind. So maybe I need to just... I don't know, look around the map on, um, in between episodes. Because these shacks and stuff, they do show up on the map. As those rectangles. So I'm assuming that's what we're supposed to look for. Then again, it, I think it was meant to be a more decrepit kind of shack. So I don't know if maybe, um, that has anything to do, do, to do with the stuff. Oh, there's a Stranger Danger mission. Great, okay. Can I, before I, um, tear down my camp... Let me actually make some coffee. Just to start the day off right, you know? That's right. Yeah, I got myself one of those coffee makers from the general store a few episodes ago, I think. I don't actually remember when it was, but, um, yeah, I do remember getting this thing. I forget what they called it, but it was something. In any case, we have it, and now we can drink coffee just by putting uh, coffee grounds out of uh, Arthur's pocket into the, um into the thing, which somehow magically works. Can I tear down the camp? Okay, there we go. Let's tear it down, Arthur. For the good of uh, nature and all that shit. Fantastic. All right, so I guess we'll see what this, of course, um, the first thing that we see in the morning is a, uh, Rodney taking a massive dump all over the place, which is great. And there appears to be some stranger danger here. Okay, well, I don't think we have enough time to do the Stranger Danger just yet. So, I'm thinking, let's end the episode off now. We'll come back tomorrow, we'll do the Stranger Danger, and in between episodes, I will look around for a bridge with a shack across. Hmm. No, that's some kind of fort or something. But, uh, yeah, we'll see it where it all leads. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast!